I've always been a huge comic book fan. Starting back from when I was a kid, I was watching the Super Friends on TV, going to the comic book store all the time, reading all the comics that were coming out, and now being able to create my own characters and have my own world to populate with my own stories, I thought it was just phenomenal. What Going Rogue represents is something we've always wanted, and we're actually able to realize that now. City of Heroes is a comic book that has been inserted into an MMO. So you can basically create a super-powered hero or a super-powered villain, and you can either save the world or you can try and destroy it. It's all up to you. By definition, a hero is very individual. And one of the things that City of Heroes does really, really well is they give you the ability to really seriously customize your character. We've got hundreds of power set combinations that they can have. We have literally billions of different costumes that you can make. Anything you want, superhero themed, you can look like it in our game. If you want to make a lumberjack, that's for another game. If you want to make super lumberjack, well, all right, now we're talking. Big old axe and some kind of like crazy hat that really make him look like a lumberjack that's going to go out and save the world and eat a lot of pancakes. I'll do that. We have probably one of the best relationships, one of the best communities in, in the MMORPG industry, and we actually listen to our players. It's kind of like a back and forth between players in the development studio. Players are like, I want capes. We gave them capes. Then we gave them wings with really beautiful flowing wings. And then we expanded on that. We've launched 17 free expansions. We've added powers, new zones, new content, and new systems. Uh, we've given players the ability to add customization to their characters, customization to their powers. And then we had a major sequel in City of Villains that added a whole bunch of new archetypes, brand new zones. You got to play as a villain and, and kind of live out your dark side fantasies. Uh, and that was a lot of fun to work on. And then of course we have, you know, our first major expansion, which is Going Rogue. Going Rogue is unique unto itself. I don't think any other MMO kind of does this. We empower the player with the opportunity to either be a hero and fall from grace to become a villain, or as a villain, redeem themselves to become a hero. And not only just that, but they can also go full circle from hero to villain, back to hero again. It pretty much reinvents the franchise. I mean, we basically give you a completely new starting experience. We give you new missions, new zones, but we've also had a huge graphical upgrade. It looks like a completely renovated game. Every time I walk into it, I go, wow. That's, that's City of Heroes. With the world of Praetoria, you know, there's new zones, there's new story arcs, four new player power sets that kind of covers all of our player archetypes. Everyone gets a new power set. And then we've got a bunch of new enemy groups with all kinds of cool powers and animations and visual effects that have not really been seen in the game before. We basically have taken City of Heroes to the next level. And I don't just mean like the next level. We took it to the next level with villains. We took it to the next level with uh, Going Rogue.